I'm going to just change the lens for 85 millimeters. I get in the shutter zoom. Shutter zoom 70 millimeters with uh, full frame sensor. It's a little short for the portrait. So better use the 85 range lens from 85 to uh, maybe even 200 sometimes is good. But a classic range for the portrait lenses from something 75, 85 to 135. It's by the book. So it's the best so for proportional, not too close, not too far. 200 is good, but you separated face too much out of the background. You can use 200 when you really want to cut the background off and make it blurry. In the studio, 85 millimeters is the classic, classic range for, let me check it, check, check it out. So hopefully it's gonna be no close eyes. It's coming up, close eyes again. Oh my God, do it again. Okay. okay. Facial expressions wrong. Out of five shots, you get four wrong. Something like blinking or looking wrong. And eye contact. Look at me. You know me, so have to get some eye contact for the headshot. Good. Uh, eyes to me. Good. Face up a little bit more. Yeah. All right. Let's check it out. And the people looking on the portrait. So first, think where are people looking? Eyes, right? If the eyes are sharp, photographer did some bad job. Maybe focus on the leaves, but you know, the, if the eyes in the shot. So first, we look in the eyes. Later, our look going around, coming, coming back to the eyes. Some certain like a track of this. This kind of picture, so it's fine, it's relaxed. But same time, don't tell us a story. It's not interesting for people looking at portraits, not giving you any information. No pleasure, no charm, no drama, and you know, nothing. No sex, you know, nothing. <laughs> Need something like eye catching so people say, ah, I met this girl before, I know her, who is she? So, so something like intriguing. So we're gonna shoot one more time. Uh, we're gonna take off uh, the grid from the octagon box, which is easy removal, and it's supposed to give us a little bit softer feelings. We're gonna check if this really works this way. It's a brand new device, so we can tell difference only if we practically use it. We ask Tatiana to come back. Tanya, please come back. And we're gonna test it again. Okay. This is what I shot called reference shot. So I try to like warm up the model, get the right position, right lighting, so we get aperture and everything. Now I want photographers to get everything out of the shot, so possibly like, you know, get a possible good composite car to like portfolio picture for the front page. All right, I'm Jeff Grossman, I'm about to shoot. Okay, I'm shooting Tanya right now. So Tanya, the first thing we're gonna get her to do is just to relax, let me see which angle that I'm looking at her face. Look that way, Tanya, look that way. Look at me, look that way. Now look at me, just with your eyes, very good. Okay, and just relax the upper body and sort of just lean a little bit forward towards me. And I think some of the best way to do it is we look like that. Get her from above, a little bit, like that, which is what I like. That's it, just like that. Good, that's much better. Good, real good. You look stealth, your face is relaxed. Looks beautiful. Same thing again, take a look. Good, good. A little shadowy, so we can take it down to about nine. Good, you need to take a look at that. Good, yeah, just lean back and then lean forward. Just down, you know, lean back, now lean forward. It's kind of like an S shape. Throw your shoulders forward, that's it. That's good, almost. It's all right, you can smile, because you can say, why is this photographer getting me to do these crazy positions? I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> this guy's weird, I'm not sure how to handle him. What do I deal with this? But I'm enjoying this procedure. Good. Turning right over, good. And? What is this? <laughs> You're duck facing, save that for Instagram. That's great. <laughs> there you go, we got it, great shot. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Jeffrey. <laughs> Beautiful job. <laughs> All right.